All right, so AT&T is at $28.76 with a market cap of $204.94 billion. So unfortunately, we are we are down a little bit. Uh, sucks for me because if you watch my previous videos, I am very long on the AT&T and I just recently put in a few more thousand dollars in AT&T at around $30, $31 range. So that sucks that I'm down a little bit, but I have faith that they'll recover. And I am considering putting more down uh, dollar cost averaging. Uh, that's investing 101, and I think it may pay off. So in today's article, uh, why is AT&T a retiree's dream stock? So essentially it goes on to say, a new CEO, CEO has clarified the strategy for the next few years, and those dividend hikes are up in the air for now. If you watch my previous video, they canceled their annual dividend raise this year, which is the first time in a long time, but that it's still fine, in my opinion. Uh, but at and stock is at historically low valuation, and the business is generating enough free cash flow to pay off debt and invest in growth while sustaining its current dividend, which yields about 7%. This might make the stock a no-brainer for retirees looking for a high yield at, with sustainability of a blue chip company. And it goes on to say it's a media conglomerate. Obviously, if you watch my videos before, they own HBO now, they are own Warner Brothers, they're trying to launch, well, trying to get their streaming app going. And this is, this is something, obviously, I am long in at and I believe this person who wrote this is 1000% correct. They they just, what people don't realize about AT&T is they make a ton of money. They've stayed flat all these years, but that's fine. They generate so much money. They're in a ton of debt due to the Warner Brothers purchase. Um, I think it was like 90 billion. Um, so they're in a ton of debt, which is around 150, but they are paying that off. AT&T earns so much money that they can pay off their debt, they can pay the dividend, and do things like purchase Warner Brothers and start a streaming app. Uh, well, buy a streaming app and improve on that. So I, I think this writer is just is so spot on because this is how I feel. And he goes on to say pretty much the balance, balancing act won't be easy. There's enough cash coming in the door to allocate, allocate capital in all directions. Management expects to generate 20, $26 billion in free cash flow this year. That is less than less than the $29 billion in 2019, but COVID, obviously, disruptions have affected the first half of 2020. And yeah, you're going to see the their cash reserves go up their 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 debt go down and hopefully they sell direct tv obviously he talks about that they own direct tv direct tv and it, it's pretty bad but there's a lot of faith left that it is a ret retiree's dream stock obviously i am invested in it i'm going to keep investing in it i thoroughly believe AT&T is a solid play just for the fact it hasn't moved for years. Its dividend is amazing. You cannot beat this dividend for this price with this company. AT&T is at the perfect price right now, in my opinion. But, you know, anything could happen. Uh, there's a lot of risk. But, hey, if it, let's say uh, their HBO takes off and it turns into something amazing like Netflix and Disney Plus, 
and that starts pumping up the price, that's a win-win in my scenario. But right now, all I care about is that dividend, and I'm hoping to earn, obviously, about a thousand bucks a year in dividends alone from AT&T. So, stay on top of this, do your own research, have some fun, make some money. This video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.